At Up the Creek Paddleworks, we're fishermen. And like all fishermen, we started to ask the same questions about fishing kayaks. Why does the average fishing kayak weigh so much at 75 to 90 pounds, some even a lot heavier? Why do I need an expensive trailer just to haul my kayak, especially since most cars can't tow them? Why are fishing kayaks so slow, and they turn like barges? Life is full of people that can point to the problems, but offer no solution. We just don't subscribe to that philosophy. So we went to work designing and engineering a solution. Introducing The Outcast, a true game changer. We can tell you that it's the lightest fishing kayak made at under 40 pounds, but would rather you just watch Ariel load it on the car by herself with ease. We can tell you that it's the fastest fishing kayak made, but why not watch as our paddlers fly along at touring boat speeds? We can tell you that it turns on a dime. Well, I think you get the message. As you can see, the Outcast is designed and engineered to be incredibly stable in all conditions. We didn't stop at weight, speed, or even maneuverability. We heard all of you when you said you wanted a kayak that could be set up the way you wanted. So we partnered with Scott, the world leader in fishing mounts and fixtures. We designed a boat with nine universal Scotty mounts. Now, the only obstacle to your boat setup is your own imagination. We also understood that you wanted a boat that could handle all of your camping gear. What better way of capping off a great day of fishing than sitting around a campfire? The Outcast is 100% designed and manufactured in America using innovative composite materials. By skipping the middleman, the creators of the Outcast are able to make the price comparable to that of plastic and thermoplastic boats. But that's where all the comparisons end. This boat is truly unique. The lightest, fastest, most stable, and versatile fishing kayak made. So if you're someone who loves to fish, loves to paddle, loves to camp, or just loves being on the water, you need an outcast. Hi there, I'm Captain Rex, and I am the inventor of the Rockport Rattler. For the last 25 years, I've devoted my life to helping others catch fish. People work hard for a living, they fight traffic on the freeway, they come here to Rockport, they go fishing wherever they are, they deserve to catch some more fish. In 1994, my dad and I started Trout Scout Guide Service. In 2003, I invented the Rockport Rattler and put it on the market. In 2009, I invented the Quick Lock got a patent on it. 2011, I published Coconut Bay Secret Reefs DVD, Map and Chart, and in 2014, I published Wadefish Rockport Book and DVD. My goal is to help people catch fish. And when I put the Rockport Rattler out in 2003, I did that. My goal was to make the world's finest jig head. And it's been proven over the last 15 years that rattling jig heads catch fish on a ratio of a five to one to people that are throwing them against people that are not using a rattling jig head. The problem with jig heads, all jig heads, is the locking device. It's been a problem since the, started invent, since the jig head was invented. The original Rockport Rattler had no locking device. It was just the expansion and torque of the plastic going over the rattling chamber that held the plastic on. Sure, it would slip on you, but you were catching fish. So you didn't mind that. You'd push it back up there and throw it back out. In 2009, I invented the Rockport Rattler Quick Lock, and what it did is it gave a, it was a quick locking device for your plastic, and it did, it worked. And then what got, the, got me the patent was the fact that, if you'll come in close, is I made it adjustable. So you could, once you got a fish strike there and it ripped your plastic, you could push it over and get a grip there, and then push it back to the other side and get another grip there and all the way through your plastic and your soft plastics would last longer. The current owners of the Rockport Rattler have made the quick lock where it's not adjustable. You can't move it. And that's not the way it was invented. 
And as a consequence, as you can see, I have this threaded on there properly. When you get a fish strike, and you're going to get a fish strike, it's going to grab it, and it's going to cut that. It's going to split that lure. Now you've got an expensive soft plastic you've got to throw away and put on there. So basically, the new owners have made the Rockport Rattler Quick Lock a one strike, and you're out. With the new invention, uh, I have solved the problem. We now I'm now going to put out the Texas Rattler, and it will be the finest jig hit in the world once again. And what I have invented now is the U lock. It's a universal lock. It it has a patented rubber that grip that increases the friction 500 percent. It has threads in it that helps the pla lock the plastic in. And when the plastic goes over the U-lock, it gives it an additional grip, and it's easier to thread. And it does not going to slip like the old original Rockport Rattler did. So let me throw one out here real quick for you. This is what a Texas Rattler looks like now. We're going to throw it out real quick for you. No slipping. Okay, that's the Texas Rattler, the finest jig head of the world. Need any got any questions? You send me an email or give me a call. Thank you. We set about to create a bicycle helmet that had dual cameras in it, one in the front, one in the back, so that every time you went on a ride, you, you took the helmet with you. It's a wearable camera that doesn't take any extra setup. You get it and you put it on. You've got to put a helmet on anyway. In 2014, I suffered the second hit and run accident of my life. And I had another device. I could have put it on the bike and I could have recorded what was coming, but I was lazy. And whilst I was laying there, I think it was one of those lightning bolt moments. And I thought, you know, if I had put cameras into a helmet, I would take it with me everywhere I went. When I went to go and buy something like this, there's nothing available. And so I thought to myself, well, if there's nothing available, why don't I make one? My name is Rebecca. I'm a transport planner. I'm Chris. I'm an IT consultant. Oh, I love cycling. It's my gym. Just love getting out in the fresh air. It makes you feel alive. Love the morning rides. I like to ride hard and give myself a good workout every day. It's a mental health thing. It keeps me sane. <laughs> Riding in traffic is scary because it's so unforgiving. I've seen people look straight at me. There's no reason for them to pull out, but they just do. I'm a mother, I have two small children. I do worry about passing cars. It can be stressful. At the end of the day, the car will win. So you're always a little bit nervous with them around you. But the thing about having a camera is that if there is something that happens to me, I have a record. I, I think it would help if there is an incident to record exactly what the car driver has done. The fact that you can stream what's going on in the helmet to your phone, if you mount the phone to your, your handlebars and then you can see what's happening behind you, that's probably the biggest thing for me. Just being able to see cars coming up behind you, having a few seconds extra time. Still having a vision of any cyclists approaching from behind, trams, cars, and without necessarily having to turn to look behind and look in front. It feels just like a normal light helmet. I expected it to maybe be heavy or... It's, yeah, I'm, I'm really quite amazed. I thought that there'd be a lot more weight to it. Good tactile um, on switch that I find is quite easy to use. It connects really easily. You push a button to turn it on and it's on. I think if every driver thought that they were passing a bike rider who could prosecute them for what they do wrong, I think you would see people give you more passing distance. Definitely a bit of a deterrent. I think we'll see motorists being a little bit more accountable. It's a great product. I didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs>